Uh, hi guys, this is Dr. Pavan and I'm one of the surgery educators for the NEET SS at Preplanner. And today I'm here to talk to you about the INI SS exam, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So there's absolutely nothing which I can share with you, which can actually get selected, which can actually make you get selected in the INI SS exam. That will depend on quite a lot of things, your preparation, how is the paper, how is the day, and number of things. So why I am here? I'm not here to kind of trying to tell you that, you know what, this is what you should read, this is what is going to be asked, and yeah, I don't know. If at all you have read the subject holistically and you have understood it, probably you're going to do well on that particular exam. All I'm trying to do over here is a kind of a friendly talk, because frankly, I feel that the generations which are coming beyond us, they are much more smarter than us. But yes, I mean, because of the time gap, maybe we have a bit more experience than you. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do over here. So. As a friend, I, as a colleague, I just wish to share a couple of things with you. First and foremost, do not give up on the revision. Okay, please do not give up on the revision. Now, whoever is kind of going to give this particular INISS exam, there will be a very small group of students who would be like, you know what, I am not here for the NEET SS. I just want to prepare for the INISS. And that's what my target is. And they would have been reading the urology for a prolonged period of time, probably this students who are from the Central Institute because that is how they kind of look at the seniors kind of do, okay? And there will be other kind of a clan of the students who would have prepared for the NEET SS and after that they would have started to prepare for the INISS if at all they would have continued to read because yeah, like anybody who is kind of actually preparing for the INISS would have read the super specialty for like last two or three months or something, okay? Now, coming back to this particular group. So yeah, these are the two kind of students who would be actually kind of competing with you in the INISS. In both the scenarios, a very, very important thing is that you have to kind of keep on revising. Don't get afraid of the super specialty kind of aspects. This is mainly for the students who have started to prepare for the super specialty after the kind of a neat assess. Don't be afraid. Whatever you have read in like last two or three months, please do revise. That is very, very important. I'm sure that that is no brainer, like everybody tells you to revise, but you have to do a goal directed revision. You have to understand your weak topics because most of the time what happens, we kind of end up reading the things which we already know and the things which we are a bit like uncertain of, we try to kind of push it to the back. We are like, okay, we'll kind of look at it later. Don't do that, okay? Try to kind of focus you must have read like most of the topics once. The topics which are weak, please do revise first. That is something which is very, very important. Okay. Yeah. So please continue to revise. Don't give up. You still have around 15 to 20 days. So please, please, please do an effective and a goal directed revision. Second thing, as I told you, do not get afraid of the super specialty part. You ha must have read the general surgery in a good manner before the NEET assess. And after that, whatever the super, super specialty you have read, I'm sure that that's not 100%, but still it is kind of enough. Whatever you have read, master that, revise it and try to deliver it in a proper manner. Do not kind of, or this not possible to not do a silly mistake, but try to minimize the silly mistake. That is something which is very, very important. Uh, please focus, live in the present and not in the future, because many times what happens when we are in the preparation phase, our mind wanders a lot. A lot means a lot. So what you need to understand is that it's, very easy for me to kind of sit here and say that, you know what, live in the present. But you have to kind of understand the importance of that. If at all you kind of don't revise or don't read or don't deliver, anyways, you're not going to get selected, okay? But if at all you kind of give your 100%, there's a chance that you might get selected. So please live in the present. Don't think about what the outcome would be. That is very simple, very cliche, but it's very, very important. Finally, you know at your heart what is the best thing for you. You know what you have done right, what you have done wrong, what are the topics which you don't know, what are the topics which are important and you have not read or maybe you are not confident in them. Listen to it. Listen to your heart. Don't listen to your mind, okay? Please listen to your heart and yeah, do the right thing which is for you. Do a thing which, is, which you will be proud of. Maybe you will get selected, maybe you will not. I hope you do, but yeah. It's, a, it's an exam at the end of the day. So some of you will, some of you will not, but please do the right thing. List, like sit with yourself, listen to your heart and do what your heart says. And like, you know, like just do the right thing. You know at your heart what is right and what is wrong. Okay, so I'll just leave you with this, that your future is created by what you kind of do today. And by today, I also mean in the exam. One of the very important things which I have noticed, which I also faced when I was a student is, 
there is something which is a very difficult to is like is delivery of that whatever you have read in a very very effective manner because i'm sure that this would have happened to you so many times we come out of the exam hall and we say that you know what shit i did a silly mistake i knew that how i could have done it wrong okay this happens with everybody this happens with the toppers as well like even the first or second rank they would have done a silly mistake but they basically do a silly mistake very very less like maybe a couple of or two or three or something if at all you do silly mistake let's say 10 to 15 you are kind of like your rank basically goes down and more more the silly mistakes you do you are kind of thrown away you know that right but how you can kind of actually uh, deliver in a proper manner so be grounded in the exam okay don't kind of yeah like no matter how easy the question is looking to you read it properly read it like with patience because you know at that point of time you are always on your nerves so that is something which is very very important your future is created like what you do on today and by today i mean your exam so every question counts every silly mistake will make you kind of count so that is what you need to understand try to deliver 100% you cannot deliver 100% but like try to kind of maximize your delivery okay uh, try to minimize your silly mistakes that's what you can do so don't panic focus even on the exam day please don't panic no matter how difficult the question is don't panic if the question paper comes out to be very very simple don't be elated don't be overconfident stay grounded that is very very important and yeah that's it from my end that's it i guess i all i wish to kind of say is you know, all the best and yeah hopefully you will get selected use the days very very effectively do the right thing all the best see you on the other side bye bye